Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be demonstrating a new node that will help you open and close doors a lot easier. So if we hit play here, you guys can see five different types of doors that I have here. And they're all opening and closing. And you can have them um, automatically close after they open. So you see the first two and the last two doors do that. Whereas this one in the middle, it waits and then you call a separate function to actually close the door. So let me walk you guys through the node a little bit. Um, it is an actor component that you add to any door that you want to open or really anything that you want to move. Um, it's right here, this open door component. And this is the main function that you'll be using from within that. You can give it either a specific component to rotate like I have here with this cube, or you can rotate an entire actor here if you hook this self pin up. Um, but if you do put anything into the actor, it will override any components. So this takes priority. So if you want to rotate just a component of an actor, make sure that nothing is hooked up here in the actor. Below that, you have a nice little drop-down menu for the type of movement you want to have. So any kind of side hinge door, um, that's a traditional door like we have here. And it just kind of rotates off of this hinge, hinge side here. You can select that. If you want to have the hinge on the top, you can select this. And then you have two different types of um, translational movement. One goes side to side, and one goes up and down. And then you have a door, like if you want a ro revolving door, you can just select this spin here. Um, it pretty much does the same thing as the side, and the, uh, as the side hinge. Um, and then you have delta movement here. And this is just um, for anything that's rotating. So this will be the side, top, and uh, spinning doors. This will be in degrees. For the sliding doors, this is just a um, amount of translation in one direction or another. So you can input negative um, degrees and that'll just change which way it rotates or slides. The rate is how fast you want the door to open or close. And auto reverse, if you check this, obviously the door will open and as soon as it gets to fully um, open, it will just reverse and come back to close. And this has key thing here is for anybody that wants their player to have to collect something before they can before they can open a door. Um, you do have that option here with this Boolean. I've made it a variable, but you can have it always true or always false, whatever. And you can make this some type of variable for your player to do different things with. Also within this um, actor component are four other functions. Three of them are related to the timer. So you can pause, unpause, and clear the timer that controls the door. And you can also call this reverse function. So if you don't use the auto reverse, you can call this function and close your door at any time. Like I have here, this is the one door that waits five seconds and then it closes on its own. And the final thing that's um, built in here is this error message um, string. And this will just let you know what's going on in the C++ code. So if you have anything that's going on any issues with this node and you want to figure out what the problem might be, you can just hook this up to something like tick and just it'll just read out what's going on in the code. So no errors, it's rotating. Call the blueprint um, event. And then if you could see in there really quick, it said movement complete. And it's just a little bit of error handling that I've built into the node for you guys. The other thing that I want to talk to you about is the actual blueprint component. So once you create this C++ class, you'll be able to make a blueprint um, base class from that. And it does have two custom events in here, the no key and the movement complete. And the no key event will fire off any time somebody tries to open the door or use that node, and this Boolean here is false. So if you want to alert your player that they need to get keys or they need to do a certain task before this door opens, you can easily script something right off of this event. And for the movement complete, this will fire off any time the door is fully open or when it reverses back to close, this event will fire off. So if you wanted to do something at the end of this uh, movement, that's what you can use this event for. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this in a clean project. Okay, so now that we have a clean project, what we're going to do is right click in the content browser and we're going to go to new C++ class and we will select an actor component 
we'll hit next and we're just going to call this open underscore close underscore door and then we'll hit create class here and we will wait for Visual Studio to compile okay now that Visual Studio has compiled we're going to start in our header file right here open close door dot h and what we're going to want to do is take everything from here down to just above this dashed line here we're going to copy that and we're going to come in here and we're just going to paste it right here at the bottom and now what we need to do is take this line here which should be the name of your project um, underscore API with the U open closed door we're going to copy that and we're going to replace this line and now we can delete everything above this and then we're going to go into our C++ file here and we're going to take everything below this dashed line we'll copy it and we will just control A control V paste it all right in now if you named your thing open underscore close underscore door you don't have anything else you need to do if you name this something else you are going to make need to make sure that you replace all of these little turquoise um, namespaces with whatever your the name of your actor component was so you and then the name of your actor component and you see everywhere that it's highlighted here you guys are going to have to replace and then we'll come up here and we'll say build solution and we will wait for Visual Studio to compile now that that is complete you guys should see build one succeeded down here if not just make sure that you copy pasted everything perfectly and that the names of all of your namespaces here match what you called your actor component as well as this include up here needs to be the same name all right so we can exit out of Visual Studio now and we can come here to our third person and what we're going to do is right click and create a blueprint class and we are going to search here for open door and you see open close door right here we're going to want to select that we'll call this open door component BP and we'll double click on this and you guys will see there are some functions here that we can override the no key and the movement complete and this we can just print no key and here we'll type finished and these are the two custom events that you guys can use um, within this blueprint component here now I'm just gonna go into this door BP that I have here and all I'm using is the starter content static mesh door you guys can search for that SM underscore door and you see that it has a pivot point right here at the bottom left so what we're gonna do is add a component to this and we'll look for our open door component BP we'll drag this out and now we can call the main function open close door and we'll call that on begin play and we'll give this a delta movement of 90 degrees rate of 50 and we'll say we have keys and then you need to give it a component so we'll just rotate our door mesh we'll hit compile and save and now when we hit play you guys will see that our door rotates open 90 degrees you can also make this a top hinge to look a little bit weird but you can do it now it's more like a drawbridge alright guys I hope you thought that was helpful and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more tutorials alright see you guys later